welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day and had a great week. It has been such a crazy week this week. I'm so busy. My kids, this is the first time I'm filming that my kids are not home. So like they just went back to school this week and it's so different. Like it's so crazy. Like that first week when they go back to school, you know, it's just like such a different like transition again. And it takes you a little bit to get used to. It's like so quiet around my house right now. I'm like filming and I'm like, usually when I'm filming and the kids are home like all summer long, you know, I have like one ear out and like trying to hear what they're doing in the other room. And you know, like you're always like, you know, there's always the constant noise and you know, just as a mom, you're like always, you know, just doing everything for your kids. So now that they're back in school again, it's just like such a different, like I have to get used to it again. It's so quiet around this house. I'm like, oh, it's so boring right here, <laughs> but it's so quiet. I don't have anyone like, you know, hey mom, I'm hungry. Hey mom, can I do this? Hey mom, hey mom. Like, I'm like, oh, I miss it. <laughs> so it's so crazy. So I know it's like such a transition and I'm gonna get all teary eyed because I miss them every single day. <laughs> so I swear I'm so crazy, but I do. I really miss them when they go back to school. And I know some of you guys are like dropping your kids off at college and I'm like, oh, I can't even imagine doing that. Like, I'm just so, my kids are in second and first grade and I just am never gonna be prepared for that minute. Like I said, they're literally two miles down the street and I like, am like, when do I get to pick them up? Like I miss them, <laughs> but it's just such a, you know it is, it's just you have to get back in that routine again and it's just like takes me a little bit to get used to the quietness and not having them around as much anymore, but they're just so funny. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will see like all the crazy shenanigans that they get into because I love like filming them because they just crack me up every single day. But so yeah, so basically that's been my week. My kids are back in school. It is quiet around here. And now I can actually film and like kind of like focus on filming again. So that's a good thing. But anyway, I have a haul video for you guys today. So I've just gathered up some goodies that I picked up from the last week or two. And actually last weekend, my friend Arielle came to visit. She was... Um, she is in Nashville. She drove down to visit me. And it's so funny because Brian and I played like matchmaker with her and Brian's best friend. Best friend from like since the time Brian was like five years old. So it's so hilarious how they met. They met through my Instagram account. They both thought each other was cute. And literally they met through my Instagram. So we like, they've been talking on the phone and all that for the past couple of weeks. And then just this past weekend, they both met up at our house and we all hung out for the weekend. We just had the absolute best, best time. I will be the maid of honor at their wedding in like six months, I'd say. We went shopping, we went to dinners, we just hung out and it was just so fun. So I did pick up some good stuff while we were out shopping. So I'm gonna share that along with some other like purchases here and there that I made as well. So anyway, let's just jump into this haul. Okay, so let's start this haul off with the past weekend when um, Arielle and all of us were out shopping. We went to, they have this new area and if you are in the Atlanta area, you might be familiar with it. It's this new area in Buckhead where it's like these like really pretty outdoor, like high-end shopping restaurants, just like a really pretty area and it's like brand new. I mean, they have like Louboutins, they have Hermes, they have Jimmy Choo, you know, all these like outdoor, you know, fancy shops and stuff. So we went over that way and we just wanted to walk around and we wanted to eat at one of the restaurants there outside because it was just like, such, it's just such a pretty setting over there. So we went over there and we were looking around. We went into Hermes, which is completely hilarious because Brian calls it Hermes and it cracks me up so bad. Like he knows it's not Hermes, but he calls it Hermes. Cause I think I, he said that before, like a long time ago. And I was like, no, it's not Hermes. Like he, so now he knows it's not Hermes, but he still calls it Hermes. So it's just so funny. So we went in there not expecting to get anything whatsoever, but actually Brian fell in love with this bracelet that I just automatically fell in love with when he showed me and I'm wearing it right now. It is this right here, this black and gold like cuff right here. And I just love stacking it with my other bracelets, but it's just like the most beautiful bracelet. I'm so in love with it. And let me just move these down so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, it's just like this, it just unhooks, like the H unhooks and then, you know, you take it off, it's like a little cuff. But they had all different colors, but of course I fell in love with the gold and black because that's 
is just me. You guys know that. I am in love with this. And like I said, it just looks so good with like stacked with my other bracelets. So that was a total surprise, but I love it so much. So he got a little surprise for me from Hermes. So that was so sweet and just what a great hubby, right? And then we went over to the Phipps Mall, which we went over to the tavern to eat dinner. And again, if you guys are familiar with this area, you need to go to the tavern. It's over by the Phipps Mall. Just like the best food and you know, you get to sit outside and all that. So we went over there and Brian and his friend, his name is Brian as well. They dropped us off, me and Ariel at the at Saks, I believe it was, while they went and parked. And it was perfect where they dropped us off because the entrance where we were going in was all the makeup and Saks. We're like, both of us were like in heaven. So we were completely just looking around while they were parking and we're like scrambling around. We're like, what do we want to look at quick? So we made our way over to the Guerlain area. So I found some things that I really wanted and I was like telling the sales lady, it was so funny. We were cracking up. I'm like, hurry up, bring it up, bring it up before my husband gets in here. So I I ended up getting it. What did I get? I got three things from Guerlain. I got two of them are from the new fall 2015 line. They have the most gorgeous new blushes out and they all come in these like gorgeous packaging like this. And that is what they look like inside. I ended up, I always do that. I always forget the brushes in there. I ended up getting the color chick pink. It is so beautiful. It is like kind of just like a rosy pink. It is absolutely stunning. It is what I have on my cheeks today. Oh, look at this color. Oh my God, this color is everything. Look at that. It is so beautiful. And you can see it on my cheeks. I just fell in love with this color like instantly. So that is Chick Pink out of the new line. And then I also got one of their new Kiss Kiss Hydrating and Plumping Tinted Lip Balms. These are brand new out of the fall collection as well. And these I saw online and literally knew I had to have one right away. I mean, look at this packaging. It is gold and white. And as I've told you guys so many times, if it's in white packaging, I am all over it. So I knew I was like gonna have to try one of these. And these are amazing, amazing. They are like, it's called a hydrating lip balm, but it's, so it's like moisturizing, um, but it's not like, let me just show you. Let me just show you. It's not even sheer. It's like the perfect amount of coverage. Look at that, it is gorgeous. And again, I got this in chick pink. So they kind of like are the matching shades. Seriously, just stunning. I love it so much. I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear on my lips today. It was gonna be this, and then I decided to go with something else I'm about to show you guys. But, oh my gosh, I've been wearing this. I wore this the past couple days this week, and I love it so much. It feels so good on the lips, and the packaging is gorgeous, and it makes your lips look amazing. Highly recommend these. They are amazing. If you like more of like a moisturizing, really pretty formula, I love it. Okay, and then the third thing I got is not from the fall collection, but I am so obsessed with these, you guys. I told you in a previous video how much I love these. It's the Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzers. These bronzers, I am telling you guys, are so insanely perfect. I love them so much. I have the shade Medium Blondes, and this is the shade Medium Brunettes, which is slightly darker. And I just fell in love with this color so much. These bronzers, I am telling you guys, they are just so, so beautiful on the skin. They just sink into your skin. They don't look powdery. They give your skin the most amazing, just, you know, sun-kissed look. And that's what I'm wearing today right now. And I just, I've been wearing these bronzers nonstop. Like, I've been loving that. So that's the shade of this one right here. And again, that is Medium Brunette. So actually, let me show you. I have Medium Blondes here just so we can compare. And I can show you guys the differences because they are different. And I do need them both. Okay, so here's the Medium Blondes and here's the Medium Brunette one. The Medium Brunette one is darker. And the medium blonde one is, I would say, a little bit more golden tone. That's the two of them right here. But yeah, they're both absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love these bronzers so much, you guys. Seriously, check them out if you are in need of a good bronzer. They are amazing. Okay, so that's what I picked up from Guerlain. And yes, the lady did ring me up before Brian got to me, so it was perfect timing. So after we headed out of there, we actually found Brian and Brian, and we actually were just like right in front of the Dior store. So we were like, oh, let's go check out Dior. They had little good looking like bags and stuff in there. So we went in there and of course, Ariel and I started trying on sunglasses and I should have known right then that I was gonna find one that I like, but I was trying some on, didn't really like that many of them until this one caught my eye and I just completely fell in love. It comes in a white case, super gorgeous. And these glasses are just amazing. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post a picture of them. And these are them right here. I just love them so 
much. Oh my God, they're just amazing. And I'm just trying to remember. I don't remember which ones these were, but if I can find them online, I will link them down below for you guys. But once I tried these on in the store, I'm like, ah, I'm like I fell in love. I need to get these. But how cute are these glasses? Like I just love them so much. I have been on the hunt for a black, like all black pair. We were, <laughs> Ariel and I were talking about this before we found these. I was, we were both have been on the hunt for like a all black, like black rim, black lens type of um, sunglass. So we were just talking about that and I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I was like, I haven't been able to find one. The only one I've been able to really find was that Porsche design one, which is like all black. It's like the Kardashians like always wear those. Um, but that's the only one I found until I found these and I was like, I completely just fell in love with those. So had to get those. So that was our little adventures at the mall. After we went to Dior, we just left and went to dinner. So that was basically our little shopping for that day. And I think that's pretty much everything I got while she was here in town. Yeah, I will show you the rest of the stuff that I kind of just picked up in the past like week or so. So I will get started with an order that I made on Beautylish. I picked up the Coach and Doe Makeup Color Base. I picked up this green primer. I'm really kind of interested with like the green undertones, like counteracting like redness in your skin. Like I have um, some like redness around my nose. I have a little bit of redness like on my cheeks and they're all just like, you know, like blood vessel type things, you know, which is so annoying. And actually that's a form of sun damage. So again, protect your skin because sun damage doesn't always come out as brown spots. It comes out as like broken capillaries and vessels and all that annoying stuff. Just, I wanted to try something like this that could just kind of, you know, as a primer, like counteract that redness. This is awesome. I really, really love it. I've been wearing it for the past couple days since I got it and I love it. At first when I put it on, it kind of like, you know, sinks into your skin and I'm like, oh, it doesn't do anything. But then if you let it sit for like a couple minutes, it really does kind of like take away any like red spots and like broken capillaries on your face. I have been loving this. So. I also picked up from there, which I am so happy about. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. These are the OCC Lip Tars, and they come in new packaging now, which I'm so happy about, because they used to come out in those like squeezy tubes, and then you'd have to like pat it on your lips, and they always like squeezed out too much, and you just, it was just a mess. So now they come in a like lip gloss form, and that's what I'm wearing right now. Oh, I love them so much. They have like a peppermint smell to them and I love peppermint, like anything peppermint, mm, I'm like in love with. So these are just amazing. So basically they're like a liquid lipstick. These are like, I feel like these are like the first liquid lipsticks before all the other liquid lipsticks have like come into play. These have been around for a while, Ah, oh, but they are amazing. So they just go on, they stay on your lips absolutely forever, but these are so, comfortable on your lips. I love the formula leaves. I love the way they feel. They just, they're not like super drying at all. Actually, I should say they're not even drying at all. Um, right now my lips are like super dry. I've been wearing these and they just feel moisturized. So I love these, they last forever. And I'm just so happy they come in this new packaging. And the last thing I picked up from Beautylish is this RMS Beauty. It's a lip balm, but it's called, what is this called? Hold on, where's the box? It's called Lip Shine. I, it's called Lip Shine, that's it. So it's an organic product and it is in the shade Honest. So it's basically like a little lip balm case and this stuff is amazing. It's beautiful. So I've been putting this on just like during the days where I don't even feel like really putting anything on my lips. This gives your lips the most beautiful shine. It has like all these amazing oils in it for your lips. So it's so good for your lips. That's the color of it right here. It's just, it's so pretty on your lips. I can't even tell you guys. Like I didn't know what to wear on my lips today because I wanted to wear all these to show you. But it just has the most prettiest color and it just gives you this most beautiful shine to your lips. So I am in love with this. Okay, so that was everything I picked up from Beautylish. So moving on to the last couple of things I picked up. I did pick up another one of the Kat Von D, the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks because again, these liquid lipsticks are amazing and I am so in love with them. I got my hands on the famous Lolita shade that is always sold out. It's like the one that's described as a chestnut rose and it is stunning. Perfect, perfect fall color. It is just like, yeah, like a brownish rose color and it's just really pretty on your lips. Like super, super fall and I love it. So got my hands on that. I love these so much. Like I said, I've been wearing these like non-stop. I've been like into the liquid lipstick thing lately. I don't know, just because I feel like they just last on my lips forever. And they're as long as they're comfortable on the lips, like the Kat Von D and the OCC, then I am like good. So picked up another one of those. Okay, one more thing to show you before I get to the 
thing that I'm like super excited about. So I ended up picking up the Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mes Mesmerize, the Marie Antoinette, I guess it's called. It's one of her cream shadows. Oh, it is so pretty. So this one is like a bronzy color. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, guys. I love it. This will make blue eyes look amazing. Like when I wear this, Brian is like, oh my gosh, like your eyes look so blue. Um, and it's because like the bronze and copper bring out blue eyes. So this shade is just so beautiful. It's beautiful on all eyes, but if you have blue eyes, your eyes will just like pop. It's so gorgeous. Um, I just absolutely have been loving this bronze shade and it's just such an easy thing to like put on your eyes and go. Like I love it. So yeah, how stunning is that? Super gorgeous. Oh, one more thing I want to share with you before I pull out this guide that I am like, oh, actually no, two more things. Ah, two more things I want to show you. I picked up another one of these anthropology t-shirts that I showed you guys a while ago. Actually in my last video, I had that cute like gray t-shirt on with the rolled sleeves. I ended up picking it up in black too because I am such a t-shirt girl. I love these t-shirts. I love the rolled sleeves and the, if you can't tell, but like you'll see it if you go back to my um, last video with the gray shirt. It has like um, these really cute, like, like I don't know what to call them. I guess like, what is, that, what is that called? Seam details, I guess. I can't even think. Pleats, is it pleats? I can't even think of what the word is. But it like comes together on the sleeves. So it just like creates the most cute like look to your shoulders. So I picked it up in black and the, yeah, so now I have the black and gray and it's like the softest, cutest t-shirt guys. I love it. And then the other thing that I have to share with you guys quick are these shoes for fall that I found and seriously am so in love with. They're by Michael Kors. They are like a little peep toe booty and how stunning are these shoes? Like I had these on the jeans the other day just to try them on. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear jeans. I can't wait till it cools down around here because these are just beautiful. I love them. Wait, they go like this. The zippers are on the inside like that. So, I mean, they're just seriously the cutest thing. They're so comfortable on. I just love like little peep toe booties like this because you guys will see me like with jeans and you know, like a t-shirt on when it starts getting a little bit cooler, but then I will throw on like little booties like this and they just are so perfect for the fall time, like absolutely perfect. And I just thought these were like the cutest thing and seriously, when you put them on, they just are like sexy and stylish and fun. So love these. Okay guys, now for the grand finale. I am so in love with this. Oh my gosh, love it, love it, love it. It is another Vizart palette. And it is not one that's on Sephora. It is one that I found on another site that I will link down below for you guys. It is the Cool Matte Palette. Seriously gorgeous. I can't even tell you guys. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I have the Neutral Matte, which looks like this. And this one, the Vizart palettes are seriously one of my absolute favorite palettes. I pull the Vizart palettes out more than anything else when I'm doing my eyeshadows. This is the matte warm one, the warm tones, and then this is the cool tones right here. And you can see them both side by side. Oh, both of these you need in your life. I'm telling you, they are beautiful. So I love cool tone eyeshadows so much. That is what I have on my eyes today. I have this palette on my eyes right now. And I have just been playing around with this and love it. These eyeshadows blend like nothing else. They are so easy to blend. They are so easy to create like the most perfect looks. And these colors are just stunning. What's on my eyes today is what I love as like a smoky eye. Like the Urban Decay Smoky palette, I returned. I did not like it. This is gorgeous. If you want to do a smoky eye, if you want to do an everyday, you know, cool tone look, this is the palette for you. This palette is beautiful. So let me just swatch some of these colors and I will show you guys. Like they are just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom row right here. And those are the colors to that row. That, well, it's the top row for you guys right here. Look at that. They are stunning. Okay, so here is the middle row. You can see those colors right there. Stunning, stunning, beautiful colors. Okay, so right here is the last one, which is this row right here. It's the top row, but bottom row for you guys. But you can see these are the lightest shades, but still beautiful pigmentation. Seriously amazing. And I am just absolutely in love with this palette. Okay, so that's everything I picked up recently. I am seriously in love with all this. Everything I hear, I have tried, I have used, I have been wearing, so I can tell you guys, I love it all. There's not one single thing in here that I'm like, eh. Like, I love it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, hit that thumbs up down there for me. It just helps me out so much, and I greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.